hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 second long and duration is also 30 second and background color is black color and simply hit ok. Then I am going to choose choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then press ctrl n to create another composition and I am going to type s over here and width I am going to choose 500 and height also 500 like this. And then I'm going to select my text tool and I'll type my text over here and over here I'm going to delete this uh, stroke and I'll choose uh, fill over here and for the font you can choose any font you want but make sure that you are going to choose thinner version uh, as much as you can I'm going to choose Oswald font and extra light version of this font over here then select this uh, text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and then press s for scaling option and scale it at somewhere around like this i think this much looks good okay and now i'm going to go in my character menu and over here we have the stroke and we will add the stroke but we uh, stroke width i'm going to choose 0 0.1 only why well, we will see that later now select this text press p for position create one keyframe then go to around one second create another keyframe then go to the start and we will bring this position downwards okay then go somewhere around uh, select those keyframes and hit f9 to ease in those keyframe go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph and select this graph and by holding shift i am going to move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of animation then somewhere around over from this point i'm going to go inside this animate menu and i'm going to create one stroke width over here and let's increase the stroke weight until we will get this kind of bold text so i'm gonna go with let's say 20 okay let's see yeah this looks good to me then at this point i'm gonna go in my range selector menu and let's make this initially zero in property create one keyframe then go around 1.20 frames and i'm going to make this 100 now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move this handle over here so if you see this animation now first we will get this and then this okay so now uh, press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and select this press uh, f4 and choose alpha matte okay so this is for s and basically we are going to type shadow text so let's select this s and hit ctrl d to duplicate it so we will get s2 hit enter and let's call it as h double click to open this and instead of s i am going to type h over here then we need a so hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as a hit enter double click to open this change this text to a then select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as d double click to open this change this text to d select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o double click to open this change this text to o ctrl d hit enter let's call it as w double click to open this and let's call it as w okay s h a d o w shadow is ready then go to the main animation comp and select this s and simply bring this over here and let's hit enter i mean spacebar so it will animate like this now select this uh, text and let's move this over here then we will bring our edge so i'll bring this over here and let's try to move this somewhere around over here let's select all of them press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity to 80 so we can see the uh, intersection between these two alphabets like this uh, then we need a bring this downwards press t let's make this opacity 80 also and let's try to move this over here then let's try to adjust this then we will need to bring our d bring this over here let's try to move this over here press t let's make this 80 and let's try to adjust it properly 
then we need o press t let's make this 80 and let's try to move this somewhere around over here then at last we will bring our w and let's move this over here press t let's make this 80 and let's see our intersections are proper or not yep now select all of them and let's make this value 100 like this then right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this uh, and simply bring this in middle of this composition and we will delete this null object okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now i want this animation one by one so i'll take the distance of five frames i'll select this and with the help of open square bracket i'm gonna bring this over here this one over here this one over here this one over here and this one over here so i'll get this kind of text animation now after that i'm going to select this s over here i'll go to the, my effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply and we will change the direction to somewhere around like this let's make this proper 90 okay and increase the distance to 10 increase the softness to 200 so we'll get something like this and instead of black color i'm going to choose this something like bluish and let's increase the opacity of that shadow also like this then select this drop shadow hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and simply hit ctrl v so we will get this kind of effect so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of stuff now select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text only and hit ok and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer and we will bring this over here okay like this now right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt i'm going to replace it with this one so we have this text too now double click to open this and what we are going to do we will delete this drop shadow effect on them we don't want for them so i'll simply delete it like this okay so if you go to the main animation shadow over here we will get something like this so if i see this stuff i'll get this kind of animation and if you want then you can move this a little bit over here also so it will animate a little bit uh, later like this uh, let's go to the start and let's try to bring this somewhere around over here like this okay and if you want then you can decrease the opacity of them also it's totally up to you it's uh, not necessary that you should do that but uh, if it uh, looks good to you then you can do that i'm gonna bring with this let's make this opacity 40 like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text animation and hit ok and let's close all of these compositions and press ctrl y to create one solid background and uh, let's cut apply fractal noise effect on it like this and increase the contrast and decrease the brightness a little bit go to the transform uh, unlink this uniform scaling and increase the scale width to 1000 like this and decrease the scale height somewhere around like this then go to the start select this let's uh, alt click on this evolution tab and type time into uh let's say 80 okay so you will get this evolution animation like this now select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as map and hit ok and let's hide this select this text animation hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as shadow and hit uh, sorry uh select this press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards somewhere around like this okay so you along with this you will get something like this let's bring this over here let's see but if you see uh, you will get this little bit of intersection between this and you select the shadow and bring this backward like this and try to adjust the position over here like this and now over here what we are going to do we will create one mask for this one so i'm going to select this my rectangle tool and i'm going to create one rectangular shape over here press ctrl alt home 
and let's bring this somewhere around over here select this hit enter and let's call it as mask let's bring this downwards select the shadow press f4 and choose alpha mask so if you see we are not gonna get that uh, intersection and along with that i'm going to select this mask and hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top select this one uh, which is this one over here i'm going to choose alpha inverted mask so now if i see this animation i'll not getting anything uh, rough edges over here you can select this mask and you can bring this a little bit upward also like this and now i'm going to select the shadow i'm going to select this rectangle section tool again and i'm going to create one mask on that layer and then go to the mask properties and increase the mask feathers like this okay then select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and apply and over here blur layer i'm going to choose this map layer okay so now if i see this animation i'll get this kind of stuff like this then right click new and create a null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null select this press p alt click on this position apply wiggle uh, let's type 2 comma 2 so we will get this wiggle animation right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for let's say glow effect and simply double click to apply increase the glow radius 200 increase the glow threshold 200 and glow intensity choose 0.3 like this okay uh, so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of text animation inside of after effects